Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Joe at Quad Specs, and today we have a few different portable 1S battery chargers in front of us. And we figured we'd go ahead and start a mini series uh, comparing all of the features and the functionality of these chargers. And hopefully we'll get a few more by the end of the series. If you head on over to quadspecs.com, you can check out, we have a chart, a comparison chart of all the different 1S chargers that we found on the market today. Uh, we tried to stick with ones that are mostly portable. Uh, so if you go to some kind of tiny loop race, you, you don't have a hard time trying to find an AC plug to source your charger. Uh, but today we are specifically going to look at the 6-in-1 Ishing charger that's available at banggood.com. This one was sent to us for a review from banggood.com, so we appreciate that. But we'll start with that one today, and then we'll go ahead and post these other ones as we review them. All right, so the 6-in-1 Ishing 1S LiPo charger is actually one that has quite a few features. Uh, the inputs on this thing uh, as far as connection wise, you can have the typical DC uh, jack connection or a XT60 battery connection. And then the output here, this USB is actually just a five volt output. So you could charge your phone or something if you really wanted to. Um, and it has a display here on the front and it scrolls through and it'll show you the voltage on each one of the uh, six ports. And if you look closely, each port has a switch for voltage. So it's either 4.35 or 4.2 volts. So it does do the high voltage charging. And then it also has two settings for the current output. So this button, this switch right here, switches between 0.2 and 0.6 amps. So this one does have more features than some of the other ones. Uh, but what we're gonna take a look at next is the final output voltage. Uh, for each of these to see if it actually gets up to 4.35 volts and then we're also going to see what the output current is for both of these settings to see if it's what they advertise. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Alright so here's our setup. We've got a JST PH 2.0 connection plugged into port number one and we've got that running through here uh, to our multimeter and then we're going to plug in this 4S battery to power the charger and then we'll see just how much current is being pushed through this battery. So we'll go ahead and show you some of the display features here. Uh, it starts out by telling you that the USB outputs 5 volts and then it just scrolls through each port and tells you what the voltage is um, on those. So some of these I've got set to different voltages uh, but most of them are set at 4.35 volts and um, we have the current setting, the current output setting on port number one set up as 0.2 amps. So we'll go ahead and plug in the battery and see what kind of current output we got. So that one's 0 0.24, 0 0.25 amps, which comes out right to about 1C for this 260 milliamp hour battery. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and scroll through a couple of these other ports here while we've got it plugged in. So port 2 at 4.2 volts is closer to the specified 0.2 amps. We'll go back to another 4.35 volt output. So again, that at 4.3 at 4.35 volts it's up closer to 2 point, or 0.25 amps. Let's try another one at 0.2 amps. And that's a little lower again. We'll try another one at point, or sorry, 4.2 volts. 0.22. So it looks like as you change from regular voltage to high voltage, the current output um, does go up. So. Um, keep that in mind when you're charging your batteries with this unit. We're going to test out the 0.6 amp output. So at 4.3 volt and 0.6 amp, we have roughly 0.56 or 57 amps. So that one's actually a little bit under. We noticed with the other setting it was a little bit over. Let's go ahead and move that down to the regular 4.2 volts. And now your, amp, your output is closer to a half of an amp. 
So it does not output the full 0.6 amps that is stated on the charger. We'll go ahead and try a couple different ports here just to confirm. And that one's still set up 0.2. That one was a little stiff. Uh, so 0.51 at 4.2 volts. So we'll change that back up to the high voltage setting. And it's about the same. 0.56 or 57 amps. So at the higher current output setting, it's a little underrated. And at the lower output current rating, it's a little overpowered. So uh, just keep that in mind when you go to charge up your batteries with one of these units. And who knows, maybe um, some of the other units that they ship out are closer to the ratings, uh, but that's what we've got here. And keep in mind that this meter is not top of the line, so we're more than anything just getting a good idea of a approximate um, current output. So hope that was helpful. Let's go to the final test and check out what the end voltage is when we charge a battery. All right, for the last test, we're gonna go ahead. We've got all six of these fairly new batteries plugged in. We're going to get them all charged up. Um, we have the top two at 4.35 as, as well as the bottom two. And then these middle two batteries are at 4.2 volts. So we'll go ahead, let those charge. And then when they're done, we'll take them off and see what the final voltage readings are. All right, so we'll use this little battery tester to see if it matches up with what the charger was stating for the voltages. And they're in the same order as we had them before. So this is channel one. Channel two. Three. That one actually is over 4.35 volts. I'm starting to wonder if just the meter in there was off, 4.22, so they're all at least pretty close, we didn't have any except for maybe the first one that was undercharged, so that's pretty good, it's not quite as high as what the charger said, uh, but not too bad either, it looks like it pretty much got to 4.35 or maybe even higher on most of them, so there you have it, that's our review of the Esheen 6-in-1 1S charger. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, be sure to like below and hit the subscribe button. And be sure to check back for the next chargers that we're gonna review in this series. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.